hey y'all welcome back to the channel how are y'all doing today i hope you're doing great so if you are new to the channel thank you for joining i appreciate it you you know you hit that red button you hit the the shimmy shake notification and so we over here we started doing in 2020 store walkthroughs to show you the empty shelves all that stuff that's going on encourage you to stockpile your home um and then i kind of branched off and started doing news you could use right so i want to get back to showing you these stores and not just to say i'm showing you empty shelves and stuff like that but just doing a store walkthrough because a lot of you guys have commented that you don't go in the grocery store so you enjoy actually walking into the store with me so i decided we're going to start doing more of that over here again this is not so the new. other day i was watching my girl donna um she was doing a friday field trip to the store and so we're going to do our field trip every day though we're not just going to do it on fridays we're going to do it every day but i have to give you the warnings like she did for her family members over there so remember when you was young before you went in the store you know what your mama said to you matter of fact you know what you said to your kids you said the same thing your mama said and your mama never said to the kids then okay so before we go in the store I want you to know, if you don't have any money, don't touch nothing. Don't say, Mama, can I have it? Don't say, please, 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 because your name ain't James Brown. Keep your hands in your pocket if you have pockets. If you don't, keep your hands behind your back, clutch together. Do not touch anything in the store. That's what parents used to tell their kids. Some still do, but some don't. And with that, more need to start doing it, and here's why. Do you remember, for those of you who've been here for a while, me doing a story where I told you about the, the I don't know how old the child was. I'm, I think she's about 10. She could have been younger. She got a lollipop, and she, she opened it, and she ate it in the store. Now, you know you see people go and stuff. They eat the fruit and all that stuff while they're walking around the store, which is disgusting because you don't know who's had the hands in it. But she did that. Her father, unaware, I don't know how, but he was unaware. And as they were leaving the store, they got stopped. And so they ended up with charges against the little girl. They also received... A letter from Walmart saying you are no longer invited into our stores so parents I tell you this to say let the people in your house know this is what's happening now they'll watch people take big screen TVs out the door won't try to fight them won't do anything but they will charge a little child and say you can't come in my store anymore of course the the, the father fought it and, and, you know, Walmart back down from it. But it's just the point. So, y'all, let's go into the store. Let's enjoy this walkthrough. If music's playing, then I'm going to do a voiceover I'm gonna ha or I'm going to have music playing on my own because I don't want that copyright. So, let's just enjoy this store walkthrough. Do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up. Share the video out. And let's go into the store. Bye. So the price of Pepto Bismol has gone up to $7.48. The big bottle is 16 fluid ounces. I don't know if that applies to the 12 fluid ounce because I don't see a price for that. Children's allergy medicine has some gaps in there.
so like I said, they were playing music, so I had to put my own music in here. So Baby Formula is not the only thing that has a lot of gaps and empty spaces on the shelves. So is the jar food. And then over on this aisle here with the cups, I remember cups not costing this much. I don't know how, you know, new parents are affording this stuff. Inflation is insane. My oldest child, my oldest daughter said, why is it my paycheck is not lasting me? Is food really costing that much? And y'all, this watermelon that you see in my cart, that thing wasn't even no good. I cut it open and it was, let me show you. So this is what you get when you go to the grocery store thinking you, you know, you got a taste for watermelon and you cut that thing open or as old people say, bust that thing open. This is what you get. This thing ain't even ripe. And I thumped it. <sighs> what a waste of my money. Thank goodness it was on sale. Now, I haven't been over in the toy section in a while, but I thought I'd go over here to show you just how full they are. And that's what you're going to see a lot of stores being full of items that people just don't have a necessity for buying toys. Like maybe a treat every now and then, you know, for your child. But other than that, you're going to see fully stocked shelves. Now, these right here, these are things that would definitely go well in an emergency preparedness kit. Having games and cars and things you can do when the lights are out. So, I need to get my fishing license. So, let me see if anybody's over here. They don't want us to fish. They don't want us to hunt. They raised the prices on the fishing licenses, y'all. Okay. It's gone up to $40. In June, it's going to go up to $50.
these sections are short so all they have is beef right here pork here poultry here and you see how short it is so i think my kids are figuring out that mom has not been on her job she has not been stockpiling the things that we use like our condiments and they realized that when we went without ketchup for five days and we were using restaurant ketchup because i just didn't feel like shopping so i gotta get back to it you guys So whenever I do get back to stocking up, I will get those videos out to you guys and show you what I'm stockpiling. Doesn't mean that you have to. You stockpile what you eat, okay? And these little meals and things like that, anything shelf-stable, canned meat and stuff like that, whatever you eat, if you eat that, then that's what you should be stockpiling. So I will definitely show you guys when I start. What you see these employees doing right here is getting the orders together for online. They will soon be without a job because they are testing AI technology at their home base in Arkansas. And those employees will either get shorter hours or be moved somewhere else because the AI will take care of what they're currently doing now. Eggs are now 602 for 60. These brown eggs up here are 616. These are 362 egg lands. And then over here, 183 for the 12.
was in there for a good little while because I wanted to really show you guys what is going on in the Walmart. So I, I am, I did do some talking in the video, but then when they was playing music, I did not. So for what I can see, y'all continue to stock up um, just for emergencies only. I mean, you don't have to have a whole grocery store in your in your house, but whatever will help will help. So this was fun getting into the store seeing what they have actually taking my time and not just looking for empty shelves if I ran across some then I ran across some as you can see with the formula you're still getting a lot of empty spaces depending on what the formula is they did have another recall on formula this year you guys so that might be the reason for some of that but i didn't want to highlight that but i did want to show that because they're not talking about those things on the news and but i wanted to keep this video light and airy and i will be doing more store walkthroughs so let me know in the comments what stores do you want to me to walk through next and it doesn't have to be a grocery store or walmart or kroger or which we don't have a kroger here i would have to actually go to columbia to do a kroger but um you know aldi or whatever it doesn't have to be a grocery store um i like going to furniture stores and seeing what they have i haven't been to ikea in a while and just seeing the designs for the kitchen and getting some more ideas because we are renovating so let me know in the comments you know what you think about the store was it you know too empty was it too full was it too packed whatever are the prices too high for you still because they are still too high for me i got a few generic things you saw me get the little candy pieces that's because my kids want to go to the movies y'all the movies is expensive so i'm doing old school how i used to do it um and we're gonna have those little bags in my pocketbook Shh don't tell nobody okay i'm gonna have those in my pocketbook and the only thing i'll probably get from there is popcorn and even that's expensive but we sharing so it is what it is so i'll see you guys in the next video again let me know what you want want me to do as far as walkthroughs and i'll continue to give you news that you can use on this channel as well take care hit the like button share it out turn your notifications on uh, so you'll know when I upload a video some days I upload more than once a day if you're new here So, you know if you ain't new here, then you already know <laughs> So I'll holler and see you in the next video. I love you, but God loves you more He created only one you be the best you that you can be and when you are go out and spread God's love peace love and light Thanks for being here on Tommy Bites TV and y'all like my girl Tabitha Brown will say <sighs> I hope you are having a good day. But if you're not, don't go messing it up for nobody else. I holler.